Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and welcome to... Oh yeah, uh, I got uh, three words for you. Super Mario All-Stars. Well, wait a minute, is that four words? Um, or is that three? I don't know. Uh, is it hyphenated? Is All-Stars a hyphenated word? Do hyphenated words count as one or two? Yeah, okay, anyway, this is horrible. Horrible, off to a bad start. Anyway, um, yes, this is the first 16-bit um, Super Nintendo game that I've got on this channel. I'm going to be playing through all four games. Super Mario Bros. 1, The Lost Levels, oh god, 2 and 3, and of course we're going to start off with Super Mario Bros. 1. Now, as you can see right off the bat, there's my high score, 792, 200. I think that's just from playing uh, just Worlds 1 through 8 and then stopping, I think. Um, you can see right off the bat that, um, yes, this is the original Super Mario Brothers, but it is updated into 16-bit goodness. Um, colors are brighter, graphics are improved. Um, I would never detract from the original. <coughs> One up, of course. Um, it's a classic, it always will be. Um, I generally don't like remakes when things are changed. Nothing's really changed in the gameplay. Um, the controls are a little different. Um, I played a little bit of this just to get a feel for the controls again. Um, anyone who's played, if you played the original Super Mario Brothers and then this version, you're going to notice the difference uh, in the controls. They're a little bit more, I don't know what the word is for, it, touchy. Um, the backgrounds uh, in this game are just... They're just awesome. I mean, you, you, there's more detail in them. You know, the grass in the foreground is moving around. It, it's... I, I've always liked um, the look of the Super Nintendo games. Um, they're, they're colorful, they're detailed, but without being overly so, I think... I think the games of today can be overly detailed. Almost, It's almost too much. Um, I've always said before that I prefer that simpler time. Um, that the older games provide. Um, I, I think that the, the the change from the Nintendo to the Super Nintendo was a smooth transition. Um, I never felt that it was a jarring one. I never felt um, that it was too over the top. Um, I, I had an I have an issue with the Nintendo 64, um, but I guess we shouldn't be talking about that right now. That's so far down the road. At the rate that I do these, I'm probably never going to get to that era anyway. Um, so yeah, I've always just liked the style of the Super Nintendo games. Um, they, they just have an appealing look to them. So uh, basically, even though I've already played this game on this channel, um, I played the original NES version, um, there's something to be said for revisiting uh, the game that you've already done before. I mean, I don't recall much of what I talked about in my NES playthrough. The only thing I do recall is that there was one episode where I talked about, like, a dead puppy from work. And it's like, how, how, how depressing, how bleak. I'm not going to get that one up, am I? Nah, don't need it, though. Extra lives, really, are... Are, are almost pointless in this game. Um, it, it's it's one of those games that you can play like the back of your hand, pretty much. I guess that would be one goal that I could set for myself, is to try and get through the whole game on one life. That might be something. Or maybe, uh, like that, get 5,000 on every flagpole. I think that's more of a loftier goal. I don't think that's going to happen, but I'll try and get through it in one life. So, extra lives pretty much mean nothing. There's that little intro screen before each stage now. I'm kind of showing you what enemies you'll be facing, just in case you don't know. I guess the other thing um, is that you were going to see my uh, my coin fetish uh, in full swing once again. Um, it's it's usually the cause of my um, downfall. <laughs> we think we've seen it before. Um, I think if anything stops me from getting through uh, the game in one life, it's going to be, um, I'm probably going to go for, you know, that one more coin somewhere, and it's going to screw me over. Oh, almost like that. I've always liked, th th there's so many things about this game that are just, you just know what's coming up before it happens, you know, like kicking that Koopa shell down into the Paratroopa, Paracoopa, whatever. 
it's just something that I that you do every time. Well, there goes my, uh, you know, 5,000 on every flagpole. <laughs> so much for that. Okay, so that uh, that mission has ended. Um, so let's focus on, uh, ooh, fireworks. Let's focus on getting through this in one, uh, in one life if we can. Yeah, hyphenated words. Do those count as one or two? Why am I back on that? Why am I back on that in my mind? Anyway, let it go. Um, Bowser stages, um, changes here. Or, um, we got like portraits of Bowser in the background and stuff like that. It, it, it's got that uh, almost a 3D look to it, some of these games. I mean, without being a 3D game, it, it almost has that. It, there is some level of dimension um, between the background and the foreground in these games, you know, that's just undeniable. Okay, Bowser, goodbye. Or actually, it's fake Bowser, right? There's like fake ones. Yep, had to get a drink. That's probably gonna be a new thing now. Is me taking a, taking swigs of a, a beverage during the uh, during videos. Um, I'm just, I'm just feeling more relaxed with with doing this. You know, I <clears throat> I think back when I started, probably you know, if we want to talk about my first playthrough of this game, um, it was probably too. I don't say formal. I don't think I've ever been formal. But, um, I just feel more relaxed with it now. That, um, you know, ultimately nobody's really watching them anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I, once again, I do it for myself, so it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's cool with me. But, um, I'm kind of reaching the point where I'm just going to do whatever the hell I feel like doing. Um, otherwise I probably wouldn't be playing a game right now that I've already done. You know, even though it's graphically different. So I'm, re you know, taking swigs of uh, of milk. Me and milk. I can go through so much milk. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, 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 I feel sorry for like lactose intolerant people. I know there's alternatives out there, but I don't think I could live without, you know, dairy products. Yeah, um, I can go through a gallon of milk in like two days. It's some, it's, it's crazy. Um, you know, milk, cheese. I mean, I, I just can't imagine living without that. It's such like a, it's like a huge part of my diet. It sounds weird for me to say that I have a diet. Like it, like it's, it's this thought out diet plan that I have. You know, please give me a break. Uh, we're probably gonna put two worlds in each video. I remember I do recall also from my first playthrough is that I did one world per video as a way of just like you know how I do you you know how I do it. Uh, kind of putting like one level per video and whatnot, but for this, for the sake of this time, um, just because I'm doing all four games uh, contained within the All-Stars package, um, just so that th this doesn't turn out to be like a, uh, oh god, because that would be like, uh, what, 24 plus 7 is what, 30, 31? It'd be like a 31 part playlist, so I don't know, I don't think I've ever had one that long yet. Um, underwater levels look even more beautiful than they did. Again, I'm not detracting from the original. Never will. You'll never get me to do it. But you just can't deny the the beauty of, of, of this. And I know that sounds silly to say that there's beauty in a, in a video game, but that, that's just how I feel about them. You just can't. It's undeniable to me. So coins and coins, you know, the undercurrent is still here, so you gotta be careful, and sooner or later my greed is gonna get me, I know it. It's not greed, I don't think I call it greed, it, it's just this OCD thing where I, I want coins. <laughs> I feel the need to collect them all. Um, I will not be using warp zones as always. Um, oh jeez, well, so much for that. There we go. Man, failing on the flagpoles. Flagpole fail. Um, yeah, so no warp zones every level, which is how I just feel for myself that every level, every or every level, every game should be played, you know? What's the point in hurrying through and skipping levels? And I love the Goomba statues in the background here. It, it just shows how Bowser has twisted the Mushroom Kingdom, you know? Oh, there goes a coin. So you know what that means? On the third level of every world, if... 
you don't get all the coins, then in the first level of the next world, the uh, extra 1-up won't be there. But again, don't need them. Again with the 2,000, really? Anyway, but we're not doing that anyway. We're, we're focusing on getting through this in one life. That's what we're doing. hyphenated words. I'm still on it. I'm still on it in my head, and I'm sorry. Um, the other one is a, a cream-filled donut. You know, is, is cream-filled a hyphenated word? It, 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 cream, I love cream-filled donuts, but it, it they can go wrong, and, you, and you're not going to know that they've gone wrong until you actually bite into it, because the whole idea of a cream-filled donut is for it to be filled with cream. You know, it's not... Sometimes you'll get one and it's like, there's like one bite of cream in there, or, there, or it's like shoved off to one side, it's like not in the middle, so you get like half a donut with no cream. I mean, it's a cream-filled donut. Fill it with cream. It's in the name. Cream-filled. Why would you not fill it with cream? Anyway, that's it for this episode, so I can stop talking about hyphenated words. Everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll see you next time.